Well, you know, there's no reason to shell out big bucks at a seafood restaurant when you can make it at home. This versatile protein is easier to prepare than you might think. And here to give us a seafood master class is GW Finn's co-owner and chef, Tenny Flynn. Great to see you. Well, thank you for having us here. And I'm glad you prefaced, you know, your, your comments that way because seafood really is the easiest protein to cook. I tell people if you've got the equipment and skill set to fry an egg, okay. you can cook a piece of fish in about the same amount of time. And it's better for you. You're also known known as the fishmonger czar in the south and sometimes I feel this way buying fish can be a little intimidating it's really uh, and and I make the analogy is I, I'm a terrible mechanic I don't pretend to be I have a mechanic I trust and you need to develop that same sort of relationship with a fishmonger okay and tell them when they do good tell them when they do bad bring them cookies <laughs> and at least they'll tell you what came in that day and also when you're shopping uh, don't be too wedded to one particular variety. Look for the best thing in the case and then base your meal about around that. Sort of like if you go to the farmer's market and you pick out the nicest vegetables. It's exactly the same. Okay, and today we are doing, you're going to do a barbecue shrimp, is that right? Right, and, and I'm going to start off, uh, and I have this, oh, uh, electric stoves. I know. Better than it's induction. It's the studio. Right? <laughs> well, it's, uh, I'll just, you know, and, and the people that say they can't cook on electric stoves, uh, you know, in a restaurant, you cook everything on high, and then you sort of re regulate the heat by moving it around. We're going to toast a little bread. Okay. And then I've got some uh, some grits that were cold and roll up in a roll. These are the goat cheese grits. Oh, beautiful. And we're just going to fry them. And if we if we do everything right, they won't stick. Okay. But if they stick, it's okay. Okay. I'm not going to hold it against us. And the, butter, the butter's getting a little bit brown. Okay. And we want it to brown? It's okay if it does. Okay. Um, and can I ask, are you using unsalted butter or red? No, I'm using. I'm a salted butter guy. Okay. Okay. Um, the only thing I use unsalted butter for is uh, buttercream icing. Okay. Well, I'm going to okay. leave that to the experts. All right. This this is kind of hot. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go ahead and cool off my pan a little bit with these wild caught American shrimp, and uh, and that really is the only kind of shrimp that we should be buying. I mean, there are plenty of great Texas shrimp. Uh, Farm-raised shrimp are raised under conditions that don't really bear close scrutiny. Okay. And if you'd be so kind as to open that bottle of champagne for oh, me, well, I usually, think I do that. usually I use beer for that. Okay. I forgot to buy the beer today. Oh, okay. And, uh, and so, I don't know who, should, who belongs to that champagne, but they're going to be missing it when they look for it. Uh, it. It might be mine. I think it's my lunch. That, that's okay. I well, it, we're, that. it's, it's, we're using it in a good cause. And what, <laughs> I, what I've got here is a compound butter, and that's kind of a restaurant trick for uh, standardizing all the ingredients. Okay. Um, I'm glad I'm your sous chef today. There we go. Well, you didn't. I, I was looking forward to that celebratory noise. I you know, know. We're, we're going into Mardi Gras weekend. I know. You know, you know what? That's a big faux pas, isn't and, it? And, and, I just didn't want well, to. Well, you're obviously an expert. <laughs> Might have opened one or two of those before. <laughs> okay, talk to me about the time of cooking shrimp because these these babies cook pretty quickly. They cook don't fast. They? I'm going to get a little bit of color on one side, and then I'm de I'm going to deglaze with the with the champagne. And it's very important that I have a little bit of liquid in the pan when I add the butter. Okay. And that, because the liquid controls the temperature, you know, it can't get hotter than boiling. Um, once the liquid evaporates, it gets hot very quickly and it will break the butter. Okay. And so. So not quite opaque. There's still a little, not quite cooked all the way. Oh, that's, look, look right? at that golden that's brownness. That's so beautiful. Look at that golden brownness. Mm. We did so well. So we're just going to let that saute a little bit longer and then the butter, right? I'm going to add the liquid, liquid let, it cook, first. let it reduce for a bit. Okay. Uh, and then while there's still some liquid in the pan, I'm, I'm going to mount the butter and then make a nice creamy sauce. Okay. And, and this recipe is in the book. Um, this book, uh, The Deep End of Flavor, uh, it's not a chefy book. It's like a, a technique book for the home cook to take right. the fear. I signed it sometimes. Don't fear the fish. <laughs> I love you it because so many people are afraid of cooking fish at home. It really is, and I'm I'm definitely one of those. The cover here of your book is beautiful. And for those that don't know, uh, GW Finns, of course, is New Orleans' premier seafood restaurant, uh, top ten best finding restaurant, fine dining restaurants in the country. That's by TripAdvisor. Open Tables 100 Best Restaurants in America. And you dive and spear your own fish? 
Well, I, that's kind of a PR thing. I, I, okay. love to, I love to put chef shot on the menu, but it really, it actually doesn't happen very often. But is um, this picture you? Is that oh, you? That is me. Boy, that's an old picture. I had dark hair in that picture. I would have never, I just thought it was the, you know, the lighting well, of the water. Every, everybody looks the same with a rag in their mouth. <laughs> and everybody, the audio is all the same too, you know. The, exactly. But I do, I do spear fish. Um, and, and lionfish is one of my particular interests. You know, that's an invasive uh, fish to this hemisphere. So you see, when I add the butter, I've got some liquid in there. Right. That's going to control the heat a bit. And I'm just going to break it up and stir it in. Kind of make a creamy sauce. Just a little butter. Uh, you know, just a tad bit. That's what I love about it. A Orleans. natural fat eaten by people for many thousands <laughs> right. of years. You know? <laughs> so we're going to let this thicken a little bit. Remember, you can also use beer for this if you don't want to have your champagne or, or if you're a beer person. Or even, or even water. water. Yes, if you're if you're on a gluteniverse. There you thing. go. And that is going to plate over the risotto. No, the this is the I'm uh, sorry, the, the grits. grits. The grits. We've got our grit cake there. Oh, and I, I'm so proud of myself. I got it there in one piece. Beautiful. Take that off the heat. And we're going to let you plate that. By the way, you can catch Chef Flynn, get that, catch him, at Central Market tonight. We'll be, he's going to be teaching a seafood cooking class from 6.30 to 8.30. We will also have this full recipe from today on our website of HoustonLife.tv. I can't wait to dig into this dish. Chef, this looks fantastic. And we've got almost enough for the crew. Absolutely. Please come back and see us. Well, thanks so Wonderful much for having us. Wonderful to see us. you. I'm going to eat that at the break. We'll be right back. Beautiful.